have emerged. It appears that more could have been done to protect at least two of the homes on Chalker Street. News Channel 5's Michael Baldwin joins us live this morning to give us details. Good morning, Michael. Somebody actually knew about the fire, but we hear they did nothing about it. Well, Macy, that home, the that somebody is the homeowner, and depend on what your definition of do something about it is. He apparently told fire investigators that he did try to put the fire out, but here's the one thing that he did not do, and that was call 911. Now, the fire pretty much destroyed his home. Uh, the Akron Fire Department said the owner noticed a fire on the porch and tried to put it out with a five-gallon bucket of water. Clearly, that didn't work. And if that wasn't puzzling enough, besides never calling on the fire department for help. Investigators say the homeowner administered 911 to his SUV. You see, his Hummer was parked in the driveway. He apparently drove that away while the fire burned and spread to two homes. Now, fire officials urge people that if you see a fire, especially if it involves you, to call them. It's a little bizarre. Well, if they should tell the people next door to try to get up, wake them up, do the right thing, make sure that because their houses were both involved with heat exposure to either house on either side so he should have probably knocked on the doors got them up and called 911 Okay, no one inside any of the three homes was injured. Firefighters do tell us that one firefighter did hurt his back. As far as the cause to the fire, that right now is still under investigation. Macy? What a bizarre story. Michael, thank you so much. Also in Summit County, another fire, and it was ruled arson. News Channel 5 assignment editor Sedra Mayfield has been following this one for you. Good morning, Sedra. What are details? Well, Macy, this fire was in Cuyahoga Falls, and this morning, fire investigators are ready to offer up a reward for information. The fire started last Sunday the 7th at a home at 640 Madison Avenue just east of 7th Street. Arson investigators have now ruled that that fire was intentionally set. They're offering up $5,000 for a reward from the Ohio Blue Ribbon Arson Community for committee for that information that leads to an arrest and a conviction in the case. Now anyone with information on that particular arson should call the Cuyahoga Falls Police or Fire Department right away. You see the number on your screen right now. Macy, I will post that information to newsnet5.com. All right, Sedra, thank you. 535 right now. Now to your voice, your vote. And this morning, a brand new snapshot of the presidential race. A new ABC News Washington Post poll finds President Obama barely leading Mitt Romney among likely voters. And there's more insight on where voters stand just 22 days before the election. Here's Tamon Bradley with the numbers. President Obama and Mitt Romney are preparing for round two. 